This unit we're going to be looking at conic sections, and conic sections are basically just different curves on a graph. Our first stop is the parabola. Now, we've covered the parabola before, but there's a lot more involved than what we've dealt with. First off, to recognize a parabola, you either have an x squared term or a y squared term, but not both. If your x term is squared, then you know it's going to open up or down vertically. And that depends on your p-value here. If this 4p is positive, it's going to open up. If it's negative, it's going to open downward. If you have a y-squared term, you're going to be opening up to the right or left. Again, the direction depends on this p-value. If it's positive, it opens to the right in the positive direction. And if it's negative, it's going to open up to the left direction. The vertex refers to the central point of the parabola. So this would be a vertex, this would be the vertex, this would be the vertex, and this would be the vertex. Again, just your central point. And this point is always located at hk, where h is the value that's grouped with x, and k is the value that's grouped with y. And it's always going to be the opposite value. So this parabola here would have a vertex of hk. This parabola over here with the y squared term still has the same point h, k. h is always grouped with x, k is always grouped with y. The focus of a parabola is always a point a little bit above or next to the vertex, and it's kind of the focus inside of where the parabola is curving around. So this red dot above the vertex is the focus. This red dot below the vertex is the focus, same thing here, this red dot to the right is the focus, and this little red dot to the left is the focus. It's always going to be right in between where the parabola is curving around. When you have an x squared term, you find the focus by adding p to your y value. So your h is going to be the same because you want it to be right above or below your vertex h value, and then you're going to add to get your y value p to k. When you have a y squared term, this time the focus is moving either to the right or to the left, so your k value is not changing. This time you're adding p to your h value because your focus is going to be moving in the horizontal direction. The axis of symmetry is just basically a mirror that's cutting your parabola in half. That's going to be symmetric on either side. So here is your axis of symmetry, here is your axis of symmetry, Here's your axis of symmetry horizontal, and the same thing for this one, a horizontal axis of symmetry, cutting your parabola in half. You know that when you have an x squared term, your parabola is opening up or down vertically, so you're going to need a vertical line. So you can set your x equal to your h value to get that vertical line. When you have a y squared term, it's opening to the right or to the left, so you know that you're, you need a horizontal line, so you could set y equal to your k value. Lastly, your directrix is a line that's opposite of your focus and it's perpendicular to your axis of symmetry. So what you're going to do there is you're just going to subtract p from your k value in the x squared term or you're going to subtract p from your h value in, in the case where your y squared, when you have your y term squared. Alright, that was probably a lot to take in, but let's go ahead and do a couple examples and you'll see how it all pulls together. All right, so here we have an equation of a parabola. We want to identify each of these and then sketch the graph. First, let's find our vertex. Remember, our vertex is always going to be hk, where h is grouped with the x and k is grouped with the y. So if I come back over here to my equation, I'm going to have a vertex of hk. My h is grouped with my x, and it's the opposite. So that's going to be 2 opposite of this negative 2, and my k is going to be grouped with the y and opposite, so instead of 5, it's going to be negative 5. That gives me my vertex of 2, negative 5. Let's go ahead and just put that over on our graph. So if I graph that, I'm going to get a point right here at 2, negative 5. Okay, next up, I'm going to take note of which direction this parabola goes. I see that my y squared, my y term is squared, so I know it's going to be horizontal, and this p-value is negative, so it's going to open up to the left. Now I'm just going to sketch this graph on here. Normally you could make a table of values, but 
just for our purposes and saving time, I'm just going to sketch this. I know it's going to open up to the left. All right, next up, we want to find our focus. And the first step to finding our focus is to find this P value because the focus is dependent on P. So I know in our general equation, this value is 4P. So what we can do is we can take 4P and set it equal to negative 12. If I do that, I'll get 4P equals negative 12. We're going to get a P value of negative 3. Now let's think back on what a focus is. A focus is always a point just inside where the parabola is going around. And we know it's going to be a distance of 3 away from our vertex. So right away I could graph my focus as 3 points moving inside the parabola. That would be 1, 2, 3. And that would give us a focus point of negative 1, negative 5. Just the distance of negative 3 away from the vertex. And you could see that if we added this p-value to our h, or our x-coordinate here, we would have got 2 minus 3, which would have been negative 1. That's another way to get the focus. Going back to our graph, we want to find the axis of symmetry. We know the axis of symmetry is just a line that cuts our parabola exactly in half. And that's going to be a horizontal line right here going through the vertex. Looking at that line, I know it's going since it's horizontal, it's going to be a y equals line, and it's going to be y equals negative 5. And if we want to go back up to our y term squared, we could see that our axis of symmetry is going to be at y equals k, which is exactly what we did, and we got y equals negative 5. Lastly, we want to find our directrix. Remember that the directrix is opposite of the focus and perpendicular to your axis of symmetry. So it's going to be, since the focus is three spaces away going to the left, our directrix is going to be three spaces away right here, and it's going to be a vertical line right here because we're perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. So that's going to be the line at x equals 5. And if you wanted to, you could have just subtracted your p value from your h value giving you 2 minus negative 3 which would also give you 5. I personally find it easier if I simultaneously find these while I graph because I don't have to deal with so many h, k's, and p's. I do need to find them in some regard but if I know where my focus is I could easily pick that point. If I know where my directrix is opposite of the focus I could easily make that line etc etc. So we found everything and we've got our graph. Here we have 8 parentheses y plus 3 equals x minus 4 squared. Again, let's start with our vertex. Our vertex is always h opposite of whatever is grouped with the x. That's going to be 4. And k, the opposite of what's grouped with our y, that's going to be negative 3. Perfect. Let's go ahead and graph that vertex at 4, negative 3. And there we are, 4, negative 3. Okay, let's see which direction we're opening up. Looks like we've got the x term squared, so we know we're opening either up or down. And our p term is positive, that means we're opening up. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch that out. Again, I'm just going to do a rough sketch. We could make a table of values, but to save time, let's go ahead and just sketch this out. All right, next we need to find our focus, which means we need to find our p. Here we've got the 4p equal to 8, so I can set that up. That's going to give me 4p equals 8, divide by 4, and a p-value of 2. Again, that means that my focus is going to be 2 away from my vertex. Let's go on head over to our graph here. We've got a p-value of 2. Remember, the vertex goes inside the parabola arrows, so that's going to be 2 spaces up, 1, 2, and we'll have a focus right here. And it looks like that point is at 4, negative 1. Next, let's find our axis of symmetry. Remember, that cuts our parabola right in half. That's going to be a line straight through the vertex, cutting our parabola exactly in half. And it looks like that line is vertical, so it's going to be at x equals, and it's at x equals 4. Lastly, let's find our directrix. Our directrix is opposite of the focus. So since our focus is two spaces away inside, 
our directrix is going to be two spaces away outside, and it's going to be a line perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. That's going to be a line right here. And it's a horizontal line, so we know it's a y equals, and it looks like it's at negative 5. Again, two spaces away from the vertex because the focus is two spaces away. And we're done. That one went much quicker. As you get the hang of it, it's really not too difficult. First, find your vertex. Is it opening up, down, left, or right? Find your p-value by setting 4p equal to your coefficient, which, wherever that might be. That's going to be the spaces away from your vertex for your focus. Your axis of symmetry cuts the parabola in half. And your directrix is p away from the vertex opposite of the focus.